Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Determ Tech. In this video, we're going to unbox the Lian Lee Galahad AIO 360. So, what's cool about this uh, AIO is that it's actually just pretty much the same as the other AIOs, it's, except it's a bit cheaper than the usual AIOs that you'd see from branded products like Asus and Aorus and Corsair. So, uh, let's let's move on to unboxing this thing the packaging is a bit a little damaged it's because uh, I had this delivered to my place probably poor handling in the warehouse or during delivery so it's just like that contents of the box an instruction manual installation instructions as well parts list oh, yeah. there instruction manual parts list how to install common stuff now what's in the box there is a um, bunch of cables thermal paste included you have three fans these are ARGB fans so you can addressable RGB and the pump head okay so if What's this? Oh, it's just a bracket. So cables, thermal paste, screws, and a bracket. Um, assuming that's for uh, this LGA 1151, and probably this is AM4, All right? So let's take this out. This is the um, heat exchanger, and. That's all in the box. Now, let's take this out of the packaging. Oh, I just don't, I just have to pull it. So this is the pump head with the radiator, which I incorrectly called as a heat exchanger. Well, it's a heat exchanger, but it more properly called it's a radiator. This is the pump head. I think I actually prefer this over other AIOs. It's it has a nice texture to it. I was even planning to paint this, but now I'm changed. I have changed my mind. It comes with two pins, which I assume one is for the pump and one is for the RGB. Now let's talk about the fans. I actually like the fans. They uh, they have this um, high quality feel, almost very similar texture and quality build quality it seems to the um, LL 120s I have from Corsair they're actually nice now there's this uh, another thing that I'm supposed to be expecting from here because there's an aluminum cap that you can place there is an aluminum cap that you can place on top of this uh, pump head. So we're gonna look for it, see how it looks like. Oh, it's missing. What do you mean it's missing? Oh, there it is. See the cable. Okay, that's a powerful magnet. This looks like it's a medium magnet. So this is the cap. In case you don't want to see the Lian Lee branding here, you have this cap. And you can put it over there. Now, uh, let's go ahead and install this thing. Now it's time to install this uh, CPU cooler, this liquid cooler, onto our AM4 motherboard. So, uh, first thing that you need to do is remove this bracket that comes with it. We are going to replace it with this one. So just pull it out. It comes off like that. Just don't force it too much. It comes off like that. And slot this in there. Push it until it won't move anymore. It should have like about a millimeter of uh, space. I mean, the edges, its edge, uh, focus, come on, focus. Its edge is a millimeter from the actual block. Here is our motherboard. Focus. There is supposed to be something we could put here. It's in the packaging software. 
there it is it's in here so it is supposed to go here this is supposed to go here and we're supposed to be looking for supposed to use this screw to tighten them up create some uh, force so that it makes good contact with the CPU now let's apply thermal paste they say a B size in the middle is sufficient but actually oh that's not B size I actually want to put some on the sides as well take your cooling block your CPU block take off the protective plastic cover ain't that satisfying now take note of how you are going to orient this we want the tubes to come out of here and the CPU cooler I mean the radiator will be up here the tubes will be going in like that we don't want it to go like this one because it's going to block the fan here Right, you have to do this on both sides. Make sure that that uh, notch or that sort of hook kind of thing is securing this bracket. So, and this one goes here. Same thing with the other side. Now we are going to put this, we're gonna screw this in so that it creates tension. Right, so I ran out of uh, SD card space, so I have to retake this part. All I have to say is, I think hopefully that's where it's got, is to ensure that this one's tightened. You can know that it's tightened properly when it doesn't move anymore. Just don't apply way too much torque on there. You don't want to damage your board. And make sure this one's tightened. And, of course, we are going to remove the... <clears throat> Delicious. Why do I have a feeling I mismounted this?